crying boy. Hey, 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 I couldn't read it for crying boy. Hey, Hey, what's going on there, boss? Ryan! Oh god, it's good to hear your voice. Man, it's it's been too long. How you doing? How's uh how's Chicago? Yeah, it's good, man. It's uh it's good. Uh hey, speaking of, I have a little conundrum going on right now. Are you free to talk? Uh yeah, I think so. I just have lunch with my mom pretty soon. Why is everything alright? No, it's nothing urgent. I just need your opinion on something. But first, I need to ask you something very important. Uh, okay. What are your thoughts on Jurassic World Dominion? Oh, believe me when I say I was entertained, <laughs> but I also think Jeff Goldblum really carried the whole movie for me. But other than that, it was, it was a bit touchy. Yeah, well, that sounds about right. Wait, just so I have this right, you moved back home from New Hampshire. Yep. But you haven't talked to her since. Nope. And why exactly is that? Keeping in touch from a distance isn't so bad. I mean, look, we're doing it right now. Well, that's just the problem. I didn't exactly tell her that. Tell her what? Look, I didn't tell her that I live in Illinois. Wilson, why did you do that? I don't know. It was going so well and it all happened so fast. I thought that if I told her, hey, while you're in New Hampshire, I'll just be living a thousand miles away in the suburban outskirts of Chicago, then it would ruin it for us. Look, all I'm saying is if me and Casey, if me and Casey were to become something more than friends, then that's long distance. I've never done something like that before. And on top of that, I don't even know if she feels the same way. Well, from what I've seen, you two are pretty close, and where you guys take this relationship is not my decision, but relationship or not, you have to be honest with her if you want things to work out. Oh, God, Ryan, I messed up. I messed up big time. Hey, you didn't mess anything up. She's probably just waiting for you to talk first, but I have to go, so you know what to do. Wait, Ryan, wait. How do I say it? And, and more importantly, what if I can't say it? What if I can't get the words out? I think you should just tell her how it is. I would suggest someone brutally honest enough to speak for you, but I think this should come from you. I think I know someone who can help with that. Hey, thanks for the advice, Ryan. Uh, say hi to your mom for me. Anytime, man. Godspeed. Talk to you later. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> yeah, you messed up, man. Okay, thanks, Colin. I got it. Alright, so you and this girl are far away. Why, why does that matter to me? Well, from the two semesters of knowing you, and living with you, you know how you just say things sometimes, without any hesitation or remorse. Uh, yeah, why? I was just wondering if I could use your help in telling her I'm so far away, preferably without hurting her feelings. It, is it really that hard to say you live in Illinois? I mean, it just sounds like you're being a baby about it. Alright. Unnecessary. But the honesty I'm looking for. Okay, okay. How about this? How about this? Wah! I'm Wilson and I can't talk to girls. Wah! I'm so glad I called you. Look, I'm just trying to help you, man. I know you can do it, just try not to break her heart while she's relaxing on vacation. How do you know she's on vacation? Uh... What? I think you're on to something, though. It would be best to tell her all this face to face. She's in Florida.
sun goes down. I couldn't read it for Colin, you are a genius. I uh, yeah, I am. You're welcome. I got a letter this morning, gonna see you when the sun goes down.